So I'm going to press record. There we oh. go. Hello, midlifers. Hello to you all who can't be here. It's just the sweet <laughs> four of us here tonight. Um, so I just wanted to get us here just to um, run through a few things so that everyone feels prepared and organized and you guys can ask any questions if we don't know the answers i can find out and then let everyone know so starting from the top there are 10 in the team including myself um only two know each other two are coming as as friends um so it is a free for all we're all looking for friends looking for love on the trip um <laughs> I'm oh arriving on the Saturday. I don't know why I'm going so early. Anyway, I am. So I will be so ready and prepped to collect you all hanging off the plane, hanging with uh, jet lag on the Tuesday. So you are all arriving on the same connection from Singapore into Siem Reap. I heard somewhere there's a new airport at Siem Reap. Yes, we did a little update, didn't we? Yeah. You were all going to the new airport. The old airport is now gone. Finito. Big <laughs> <laughs> okay. changes even to, to uh, times as well by maybe only five minutes, I think. But I'm just assuming the whole group just gets changed. Same, same. Yeah. And I, I will be w waiting in CM Reap, watching the flight information so the man with the van with the sign will be there to meet and greet. And it's a yeah. 40 minute journey now. It used to be 20 minutes, 40 odd minutes to get you into town. Perfect. Great. Okay. Great. Yep. So everybody's flying from Heathrow together. No, no, no. So I will send that. I'm going to create a group WhatsApp. So minus me, there's nine, minus two, um, seven. Yeah, are going from, thanks, are going from Heathrow at the same time. Wow. Yeah. So yep. you will all meet each other at Heathrow and you'll coordinate. I will find us a nice place to, I'll put on the WhatsApp. Oh, look, meet here when I'm at Heathrow just before you. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Um, money. Okay. The best thing to do is is Alice, who went this time last year, is to take US dollars. Mm hmm. Okay. I know you're all. We know you're taking three hundred dollars to spend on nice things for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do some Christmas shopping, actually. Yeah. No, I'm going to. I think the same thing. Exactly. Be fun. Yeah. Definitely. But then the we're only the shops in amazing in CM Reap. Yeah. Is CM oh, the, the, the um pen what's it called? Is that's the one with the better market, isn't it? CM Reap. CM Reap's the better oh, one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. We can go to both now. We'll go to, we'll go to as many as we can as many as we yeah. can squeeze in. <laughs> and there's also Rachel says, Do you think everybody's going to want a foot massage? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Apparently, they're all over the streets, and you just sit on down, and somebody just gives you a foot massage. I was like, yeah, Candace, in. any of that, <laughs> shove it in the itinerary. So, okay, so going back to money, so I'm going to take a, a, section, a selection of US dollars, which you can pay everything in US dollars, and then you will get everything back in the local currency. So it will be a bit of a head tickler to begin with, and a scramble about where where we all get ripped off in day one or day two as they say yes this is the right change and we don't have a clue and we'll soon get to grips with it and it's there are holes in the wall the atms so we can all get more money out it's just that they um all the cambodian atms put on a charge so and do, do does everybody like cash because so for example i've got a monzo card where you don't get charged, but do yeah. most people like cash? Yeah, love cash. So the restaurants, the the markets, cash is king. Yeah. Um, if you went into a smart shop, they would probably accept a, a, a card. But the Monzo is great for the hole in the wall. 
and the, yeah. but then, then you get the money out in local currency so yeah you're kind of yeah not so attractive yeah. so yeah. the dollars that you take are the only dollars you're gonna have yes, yes. yeah okay, okay. That's cool. yeah. so clothing it is hot and very sweaty okay so um so only pack the lightest things you can find in your wardrobe the thinnest cotton the floatiest floatiest numbers yeah okay. so we're fine wearing dresses other than maybe when we're volunteering yes we for when we go around ankle what we're to have our shoulders covered and our knees covered but even if you're wearing a strappy top which is fine then if you just took a a really light sarong just to throw over your shoulders that's perfect too yeah but when you're volunteering it is strappy top shorts actually god forbid i don't own any shorts I'm, that's I'm what i was going to say shorts as opposed to dresses probably yeah yeah my legs are just not good in a pair of shorts but i'll see what i can rustle up <laughs> i i i tend on these trips to when it's really really hot where those uh, i mean not that this particular brand but the you know those are speaker trousers which are really really thin cotton Mm -hmm. yeah the elasticated bottom elasticated top and bottom i always i, I, I spend my life in that that style of trouser have you ever heard of bush bell <laughs> yes yeah because that, that they do really i don't know who said yes but they do really really thin you yeah and very pretty but thin as cotton you can possibly get i think they're obviously going to be cheaper than a speaker but yeah but they're, they're really good especially at night when we're at camp up by the river because they keep the mosquitoes out mm. yeah yeah well we it's all... not the mosquitoes flying up your legs flying up your skirt uh, are we all going to take deet yes mm -hmm. i have our own deet because we're going to use a lot of it yes yeah <laughs> But, but we are we are okay wearing dresses in the evening though if we yes. want. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Just, and 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 so so yeah. And when you're and when you're at the beach, literally it is it's a bikini it's, and a sarong. Great. Apart from when you're doing yoga, <laughs> might be putting my speaker trousers back on. So it's very humid, isn't it? Is it? Yes, I mean, it I fly to Vietnam and it was so humid. Yes. And I think it's probably a different season being November. No, it's going to be hot and sticky. It is still hot and sticky. The and positive is, I might, will I come back weighing less? That might be a positive. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, <laughs> so clothes wise, take as little as you can really get away with. Okay. Do not, and when it comes to packing, I really mean it. We need soft, squishy bags, no hard shell suitcases. And okay. is it all right if we just bring one, like one pair of walking shoes and one pair of flip flops? Yeah, that's all I'm taking. Okay, all right. And the walking shoes, just a kind of really comfy pair of kind of not in you know they don't need to be they're just something that is really good and comfy to walk in the mm. biggest day of walking is the ankle what day now i know <laughs> i know there are lots of tuk-tuks to get us about the the ankle what so nobody needs to walk all day it's all very manageable but that yeah. is the biggest that that is the biggest day and so the evenings is just as hot so we don't need any more clothes for the evenings? It's just as warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No jumpers required. It feels weird, doesn't it, if you're an English person traveling without a jumper? Yeah, just getting there. Just getting sort of there. Every time you might be cold is on the airplane. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, blankets. They have blankets, don't they? I've got to. I can't stay for that long. 
but because I, what I do, I have one question. Go. Um, which is um, uh, for the children. Mm -hmm. Where we go, you know, the Red Red Road Foundation. Um, what's the best thing to take them? Well, weirdly, what I'd really like everybody to pack is three toothbrushes each. Okay, that's easy. But I mean, do they want pencils and? Yes. And yeah, pencils, if you've got, but more, um, you know, kind of something that you think you could do with them there and then. Like, I'm going to take some face paints or some of those transfer, transfer... Um, tattoos. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, the, the, the aim is is anything that would help kind of interact they have to practice their English. They have to talk to you in English. Um, that they, you know, that's exciting for them. What about very small little rugby balls? Yes, the boys would love those. No <laughs> plastic, because they have a real problem with that. They oh, have. That's right. We, you know, Cambodia. Alice keeps telling me Cambodia is really, really. I hate using the word kind of polluted. Yeah, polluted, poor, developing, really behind places like Vietnam and Thailand. It's really behind that. So we will be kind of like, wow, Jesus. Okay, this is a proper developing country. It will, we will feel that. And what we, what Rachel thinks is like, oh my God, this is an incredible restaurant. We might think, really? But for Cambodia, it's like, hey, this is amazing. You know, they really are behind their their neighbours. That's why we're going. Indeed. <laughs> so when it, when you're thinking gifts for the kids, think what can I take that's that's interactive? What can I take that is sustainable? What can I take that is going to give them joy? Yeah. Okay. So it's nothing. Not not really educational. No. Don't don't think books. That's already there. Just okay. think. You know, they have the basics. Just think fairy dust. Right. Okay. To okay. Add to their day that will give us ease. To you know, there's thirty of them. There's ten of us. You'll be you know three on three on three each. Okay. But cleaning their teeth. OK, so they don't clean their teeth. And I was saying to Rachel, this is once something we did. I always used to do in Sri Lanka. It's just like, you know, giving them the education to and the sensation of what it feels like to clean their teeth. Right. But only toothbrush is not toothpaste. You can put a bit of toothpaste in there, but that's not sustainable because they're not going to ever afford that and no. buy that going forwards. Yes, we could take it, just if everyone take one little tube each, then they can share it to see what that sensation is like. Like, wow, that's the icing on the cake. But as far as they're concerned, brushing it, learning that sensation is kind of first tick. Second tick, that toothbrush is going to die. So hopefully by that stage, they've got used to it and then they can use other things that they can make, you know, to, to keep on cleaning their teeth using sticks, ground up bamboo, da, 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 da. Got it. Wow. Yep. So um, that's the kids. When it comes to the yoga, Pilates, now Rachel, I'm warning you now, is very holistic, okay? She is, you know, she can go off the scale. If anyone loves a holistic chit chat, you, you, can, you can go with her for, for, you can go with her down a, you know, a holistic, tunnel but nobody needs to to do that nobody needs to do the yoga or pilates if everyone's had enough but it is there for everybody to jump in and jump out whenever they feel like it i'm going to be jumping in <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love... try it. I haven't done pilates or yoga for a long time but i shall try yes well i had i had a, an operation over the summer i am now mending myself and i've been on a 30-day yoga challenge oh my gosh very and good like to show off. nearly touch my toes, <laughs> you um. touch your toes. <laughs> <laughs> okay so keeping on task so 
we've done um, the kit, what you're going to pack. We've done the money, done what to take for the kids. The next thing I just want to quickly mention is your medical bag, okay? So yes, you're gonna take everything for uh, getting, getting a dodgy tummy. But the main thing I want you to take and take really seriously, I know we have a doctor on board who will be looking after us, but the main thing is dehydration, okay? Because we are really fast paced. We're out and about every day in that heat, literally landing and getting on with it. And I often find personally in that humidity, I get really dehydrated because of the jet lag, because, because, because. So if everybody could take a rehydration tablets and we just, we all just get into the flow of taking them, you know. Do you put them in water daily. or do you? Well, I like the ones you get from, um, get from the supermarkets. They're in a tube. They look like Redoxin. I think they're called Zero. And okay. they're like the Redoxin things. And you just pop them in your water bottle and off you go. And they taste really nice. Okay. All right. That's a good tip. Yeah. <laughs> and when you put in the face, I don't drink soft drinks, tea or coffee. I drink water and alcohol. <laughs> but I'll have to uh, try my best. <laughs> I'm going I'm to be slipping one in your water bottle. When it comes to water bottles and kit, I, 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 I want a hard water bottle. Okay, not a plastic one, so a chili bottle or equivalent. The reason being is those plasticky water bottles, if they get out in the sun, they're a real bacteria hub. And this no is water true. bottles with fancy tubes and straws because you can't wash them. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I told you. When it comes to little bags for walking around, take you know I, it really doesn't matter what you take you could take just a tote bag you could take a little backpack you could take a large money belt you know wh whatever floats your boat is a money belt uh, advisable not really i'm i'm no not with kind of how we're going to be where the place so we can leave our, so i mean i don't mind so much about the money but i do mind a bit about my passport Everything wherever in each location, there will be a lockable place to put all your lockables away. Okay, uh, that's great then. Okay, so I, 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 I'm going to be taking a little kind of cross, kind of soft, squishy cross body bag, which is big enough to put my water bottle in and mm -hmm. my money. Only two things you need. Only two things I need, and my sunscreen. Oh yes, and your hat. And, and your sunglasses. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe a bit bigger than I thought. Yeah. So, so do you think we, do we need hats? Definitely need a hat. Okay. And a baseball scarf. Cap. Baseball cap will that do? Baseball cap is fine. I was gonna say I'm not really a hat hat person, but no, so. nor am I. But it really is essential. Is it going to be continually sunny or is it sort of more, is it going to be stormy, wet, monsoon, do we know? No, so that's all done and dusted. Yes. So it's, you know, it, it can be, it can get thick over, kind of heavy, heavy, heavy humidity, so you don't, you know, hazy. Yeah. We'll be wishing it would rain. <laughs> yeah, it's hot, it's humid. And think the big day is the anchor what day where, I mean, we could be there as long or as little as we like, but that's where you're kind of fully exposed. Yeah, I was just thinking, which day is that? Third day. I think, isn't it the third day? Oh, yes, it is the Thursday. I'm the third day. <laughs> Thursday third. <laughs> Thursday the third. Yeah. We've just had time to vaguely acclimatize. Yeah. Um, the other question is, do you all eat, do you three eat fish? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh talking to uh my virtual virtual teammates, um, could you let me know if you do if you're happy to eat fish? Because Rachel wants when we're in Phnom Penh to take us to this really super cool um fish restaurant that she wants us to go to and she wants to ask if we all eat fish. Sounds fantastic. 
Can I can I just say I don't know if I filled anything out about dietary requirements, but gluten free is what gluten I am. Gluten free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strictly gluten free, sort of celiac. Okay, no problem. Any <laughs> other weird, wonderful dietary requirements? Pass my way. Everything can be managed. Apart from a real severe nut allergy. <laughs> yeah. No. No, severe nut, I just, they can easily be dealt with. Yeah, but even that, I mean, that is quite difficult. Yeah, and it, and and any kind of medical issues, just, you can just, just give me the nod and tell me what they are, and we can manage. Manage. Do you, do you bring, or do you have in your position while we're there the whole time, things like a, a proper medical box? So Rachel if does. we cut ourselves, you've got Savlon or whatever the, the yes. right stuff is, we don't have to bring our own large metal tin. No. With a I even have it. a I even have the medical thing with the, you know, to sew things up. Not that I would be sewing oh, things up. Say. But I know someone on the team who is proficient and trained that will be sewing us up. Oh, good. Something to look forward to. So yes, you said one of the ladies that's coming is a doctor. Yes, yeah, our lovely American friend. Oh, who's coming over? Yeah. Perfect. You know, she sent something, didn't she? She couldn't make it tonight, but she's really looking forward to meeting us all. Yeah, in yes. in, in in Singapore. Is she American America? She live does she live in America? Yes. Oh good. Yeah. I've got a, a compatriot. Yes, there you go. Yeah. So visas, don't forget, $35. On arrival. Did everybody get that thing about how you have to have your um, either typhoid or tetanus at least a month before you go? Do yes, but you don't need proof of that, do you? They're not checking. Only it uh, it's only from a to For build us. up your antibodies. Right. Okay. All right. I was just because uh, when they said a month, I suddenly thought, oh, well, I mean, yeah, it's it's not for, it's not for them. It's for us to make sure that we're not going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So the only injections that I highly recommend are the waterborne diseases. So the typhoid, the hep A. And tetanus. I've been I've had tetanus. They told me I have tetanus. Yes. If you're out of out of date. Yes. Well, it's 25 years, isn't it? Hep A, apparently. Yeah, and there's there's no malaria, but there are mosquitoes and the other kind of biters. Nasty, nasty bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, better for stamping on. Yeah. The other thing that Rachel was talking about is there is amazing snorkeling when we're at the beach. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's one night where she's gonna take us to the other side of the island where there's that floss fluorescent. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Um so if you know, I said, do we need to bring snorkel and marshka? No, 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 you can rent them where you're there, but they're bound to be um, pretty ropey and basic. So if you really love snorkeling and you've got your own snorkel and mask, then sling it in your bag. Heavy though. It's heavy and it's annoying, but you know, I'm just putting it out there. No, snorkeling is amazing. The equipment will probably be pretty yucky. If you don't care, crack on. If you do care, bring your own. Yeah. I should think the snorkels themselves wouldn't be too bad because they're just a loop. Yeah, but some people <laughs> but, might think, oh, how many mouths has that been in? Yeah, yes, true. Yep. Just so that sounds beautiful, though. I hope so. Oh, is it going to be a beach beach, sandy beach, or is it likely to be pebble? So sandy. as in sandy, lovely. Sandy. Lovely. Don't All need any, uh, no, nothing those funny shoes. No, I've got those, but don't need don't need the shoes. From a shoe point of view, I'm taking a knackered old pair of trainers, which I won't be bringing home, <laughs> and a pair of rubbery Birkenstocks. The two strap rubbery plastic Birkenstocks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so you that's can wear nice. either of those for for anything. Yeah, 
And then I'll yeah. look really nice on the plane coming home because I'll have socks with my Birkenstocks. I'll look really, really <laughs> attractive. You'll look like everybody else, Millie. You'll, nobody will notice. <laughs> nobody notice. I'm wondering, lost, lost, <laughs> where am I? I'm not on your flight coming home. I'm going um, Thai Airways. Why? Why? Because... Yeah. I didn't book my flight when I told you to book your flights because I needed to confirm that if what day I was going out to see these other projects. Because, oh, okay. um, by the time I came to book my flights, your flight was about, about two and a half thousand pounds. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm coming back. You know, I'm coming back on the 22nd. Yeah. Um, and I, the difference in price, because I tried to get um, a premium economy on the way out with yeah. Singapore Airlines. And there was that was something like two thousand pounds. So then I asked about business class. That was five thousand pounds. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I don't know. I don't know who sits up there. I'm going to go and look at them. Yeah. Study them to see. Yeah, exactly. Grip, really. We'll <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be absolutely buggered on that first day. Yeah. We will. But is anybody else? Is anybody flying premium? So they might be awake. <laughs> no <laughs> I, I was just curious in case someone someone was awake and they could lead us through things while we sort of you know follow along like sleepwalkers no well i i'll be doing a dummy run so i will be you know giving you the kind of the heads up when you arrive at the shiny new airport you know top tip don't get in that queue get in that queue um, and one more thing, I've, I've got to go. I have got to okay, go. Okay, good. Any other questions? Well, only only apparently Singapore duty free is the best in the world. Oh, have you heard that? No. Well, have you been to Singapore? No. Well, there we go. Someone told me it's absolutely fantastic. So it's a good thing we've got whatever it is, two and a half hours or something. Did someone say there's a butterfly park? There's a there's it's there are all sorts. I think it's kind of quite a I think it's quite an a, a spectacle. Experience. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we get um films on the aeroplane? Yeah, we must. Of course they're going to have films on the aeroplane. Good. <laughs> of course <laughs> they are. Does anybody play bridge? I have it. Does anybody, Does anybody play bridge? bridge? No, but I love a game of cards. Hey, Bridge. Can I bring some cards? Yeah. Yes. Perudo. I've never learned. I've never. I don't know how to play Perudo or backgammon. But if someone wants yeah. to teach me, I, I'm happy to learn. I've got the Perudo, but I don't know how to play it. No, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll bring cards anyway. Okay. So, we... so Sarah, Jan, are you feeling happy and confident? I'm feeling good. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. I wish, uh, uh, just recently, I put on the whole stone. I've been living too well. I wish I was going thinner on this trip to wear a bikini. Yep. <laughs> That's my only worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. I think we're all in the same boat. I'm definitely in the same boat. Lucy, you're yeah. definitely not in the same boat. You can't join in this conversation. <laughs> Yes, that's my biggest worry, getting my body out. <laughs> Don't worry. We've all got bod body we horrors just... at the moment. And white. Is yeah. it good to wear white in this for, for Morphids? I can't remember. White is good, black is bad. White is good for, okay. Because it reflects light. Is that, yeah. that's right. But really? but the, but it's a really dirty country and it's very red soil. Hence okay. So, is there any way of washing our clothes if you pack very lightly? Yes, you can. Yes. You can. Yeah. Okay. Right. I better go. I'm going to be late for my appointment. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I, I think we're all. I, I'm all done with my messaging. I just basically wanted to take you through. Don't forget your um. To take a squishy bag, mainly your US dollars, um. A game of cards. Oh, it's like that game, isn't it? And when toothbrushes. And three toothbrushes each. <laughs> yes. Okay. Buy them for children. Toothbrushes for children or toothbrushes as adult ones. Uh, the... I would just take whatever you whatever you can find. And okay. you know, and if let's so if we all make a pact to take them 
basic so don't take any kind of clever kid scooby-doo ones because then they'll they'll that it will evoke yeah toothbrush envy amongst so just a yeah. bog standard toothbrush and the yeah. kids go from the age of six to about 14 14 ish okay yeah well, i know we're talking about looking after their teeth but what about taking them any sweets i only say that because last year i went to kenya and we took some sweets the children and we took those um um really kind of tangy sweets and their faces they were like oh my gosh what's this in my mouth and they would just just one sweet they were just so excited by <laughs> that's a lovely idea like the fantastics yes that was what we took yeah that's a the really, really very lovely fantastic idea thing. yeah i bought some balloons today that's all right isn't it that's no? fantastic oh yeah i I really that's 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 a kill your moment. I love I, I love you know you bought them, take them, but nobody else take them. Okay. We'll just pick, I don't we'll mind. just, I mean, we'll just they, pick up I went, to, I went to Swindon today and my god is it dreadful. No <laughs> Marks and Spencer's is closing down, Booths is closing down. The People, only thing that's going these days is price right or something or pound land. Pound land so for one pound I bought some balloons, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. In fact, I could wait. I could wait until Christmas and then blow them up. Anyway, I really got to go. Okay, Nobody you to... go, Sarah Joan. Oh, that's a brilliant idea about mean? the Fantastics. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, sounds good. And, and we'll... that's it. So okay. I look forward to seeing you um, all out there. Going to meet and greet. Got massage all lined up. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Again. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Wait. See you there. Bye. Bye. Well done. I'm sorry.